Okay, so this is a video that I have been thinking about doing for the past few weeks now. And ultimately, what made me decide to say screw it and stop talking about Kent Hoven on this channel and having this be my final thoughts video on the matter is I was watching a commentary on a show called Velma. And no, I do not suggest anybody go watch that animated series whatsoever. It is pure trash, but at the same time, I was listening to this commentator, and they said something that strikes a chord with me. So I'll play that clip that I listened to, and y'all just ignore the junk in the background on it. But yeah, I heard this clip. And that's what made me think, you know what, I'm done with this crap. So, go ahead and play that clip. But even if you don't, don't be one of those idiots putting all that effort into obsessing about something that you don't even like. Don't spread misinformation, don't hate watch until your butt's so clenched you take a chunk out of the sofa. Just be an adult and change the channel. And I heard that clip, and I started thinking to myself, you know what? That person's right. Why should I sit here and indulge in listening to something that I don't even like? I'm hate-watching Kent. At this point, and this will be my final thoughts on Kent, I know I've done videos in the past saying this is my final thoughts, and then I come back. Unless something 100% like groundbreakingly drastic happens... I'm not coming back to the subject matter, if I get words out of my mouth, I'm not coming back to the subject matter of Kent Hovind. Because at this point, I do nothing but hate watch him, and at this point, it takes too much time and effort to actually do those videos anymore. I don't enjoy doing them. They are... Hundreds of clips that I have to get on a monthly basis, and it's just not fun. At this point, if anyone who is supporting Kent is out there, they are either stupid, naive, or simply just trolling around for trolling's sake. Granted, I understand the trolling effort. You find it fun, you find it funny, whatever. If you're naive, that can be fixed. If you're stupid, that's a little bit more difficult, but stupidity can be fixed. <sighs> At the same time, though, there's many people out there still supporting Kent just for the sake of they don't want their rose-tinted glasses to be taken off of them. They want to still live in that... I guess I, the only thing to call it would be childhood naivety. Yes, I probably mispronounced the word naivety, but y'all know what I'm saying. At this point, anyone who supports Kent, there is no convincing them that, look, this is not a good man. He continuously lies repeatedly, and then he'll condone his lying by calling it, you know, oh, it's wartime. You're allowed to lie in wartime. He's said that numerously. So, he's a continuous liar who lies for the benefit of himself. Then on top of that, if you're donating money to the man, if you don't notice all the money you're donating to, nine times out of ten, the project that you donate to doesn't get completed. Nor do you hear any updates on it after probably two months. So your money's just being wasted and put in the pocket of Kent Hoven. Now, right now, he has a new venture out there. He's trying to get what he calls a TV station, which is only an app that they're going to try to develop. And they say they need $6,000 for it. And then on top of that, he's also trying to do another project right now. He's trying to do a replica of Noah's Ark. And he claims that's going to cost $15,000. Do you honestly think that they're going to do all that? He'll probably get a couple thousand from idiot people out there who are supporting him. 
and then they're just going to allocate that money to something else. Po probably food, honestly, because it does cost a lot of money to feed people. But at the same time, I, I just don't care anymore. And people who defend him can't see the biggest glaring issue that is out there. He is willing to have a convicted sex offender for and his sex crimes were not with adults they were with children i'm trying to find the right way to word that without youtube flagging me for whatever reason but his crimes were against children kent knows this he can believe whatever he wants about his crimes and claim that chris was not guilty of the crimes whatsoever he can believe that brady byram wasn't guilty of his crimes but the sheer and simple fact is that Chris Jones was convicted by a jury of his peers. And it, it, it's just blatantly obvious that he committed those crimes. And Chris actually corroborates the story alongside what Kent told me. Originally, when I was first told about Chris Jones and his convictions, Kent told me person to person. Me sitting right there next to him in that van. Oh, wait, we were in the RV. That he was found guilty because he was playing strip poker with some children. But it's okay. They stopped at their underwear, Kent said. So that corroborates what Chris even admitted in a meeting with them. So if that story's true, I'm going to presume that every other story that he was convicted of was true. So Kent has this Chris Jones fella come down there and then sees he has at that time an 11 year old boy that is with him. And what does Kent do? Does Kent tell Chris, hey, look, we, no, 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 we can't have this. You know, I understand. I, I'm, I'm your friend. I believe your convictions were false, but you come here with the convictions you have. And you want to sit here and bring a child with you by yourself? This does not look good, Chris. I'm not being rude, but I am going to have to call the authorities. No, 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 no. What Kent does, what Kent does instead, you know what? People are all up in arms here at the camp, so I've got a place over here that I can put you at by yourself with this child. At this point, if people are defending Kent for supplying a convicted... I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Screw it. YouTube, if you, if you ding it, you ding it. Who cares? But Kent Hovind, at this point, supplied a registered child molester to have a house by himself with an 11-year-old boy. Yes, was Paul Hansen outside in an RV? Yeah, but do you think that Paul Hansen's actually in the house at all times? No, he wasn't. So, you got Kent Hovind sitting here supplying a house. Yes, Kent likes to claim that Cindy Lincoln owned the house. And it was her house, but who told Chris to go there? Who said he was allowed there? And on top of that, no, Cindy didn't own it at the time. She didn't own it until a month later when she bought it from Mia Voss. So you, Kent, had full control over that house. And you even knew there was only one bed in the house. So what the frick? So to any of those people who are out here supporting Kent Hovind, knowing that he is nothing more than a sanctuary for child molesters. And I'm not going to lie. I have questions within my head about Kent as well. I'm not accusing him, but I do question a lot of the stuff. He is sympathetic towards these child molesters as if they did nothing wrong. He even says about Brady Byram. He's like, oh, that was... 30 years ago. Who cares? 
Not his exact words, of course, but pretty much in a nutshell, that's what he's saying. He's like, it's in the past. You can't move on. No, not when it comes to children. You can't move on when it comes to children. I mean, Kent does these children's books that are creepy and just weird and talks about wanting to be an adopted grandpa towards children. And he then comes from Howells Anderson, which is notorious for having nothing but a bunch of these kind of people out there. And just, oh my gosh, it's crazy. And then on top of that, he's done numerous speaking engagements back in the day at Howells Anderson with the kids' ministries and stuff like that. So I, I, I just personally, I hate thinking about it. I'm not accusing the man, but I do question a lot of it. So yeah, at this point... Anyone who supports Kent, due to the simple fact that he allowed a child molester access to his little dirt pit called Dinosaur Adventureland, where they do nothing but tell you flat out, we are here trying to get children. They are after children. They say it flat out. They don't care. So, a place that is meant to attract children, but then has a child molester come there with free reign, with no questions asked. Welcome anytime. If you support that man who allows that kind of people to be there, then there's no help for you. So, I'm done talking about Kent. This was my final video. What do I think about Kent Hovind and what are my final thoughts on him? My final thoughts on Kent. He is a child molester enabler who is a shell of a broken man who wishes he could have what he once had before he went to prison. And he knows he will never have that because of his own narcissism of not being able to admit that he was wrong for the things that he's done. He could have easily kept his wife when he got out of prison and said, you know what, honey, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have did the things that I did that landed you in prison for a year yourself. I'm going to change the way I do things. Please don't divorce me. I'll guarantee you Joe would have said, you know what, I forgive you. He could have had his son and just apologized to him for all the awful things that he said about his son. But Kent thinks he's always right. He's narcissist. He's prideful. And he just, he's a shell of the man that he once was. And he wants everything that he once had back. So for those who want to continue to follow him, if it's fun for you, by all means. But... I'm going to tell you the truth. It's ducks following Kent. I mean, hearing him for hours upon hours and hearing all the stuff that he has going on on his channel is just mind-numbing. And when I'm not listening to Kent and I'm just enjoying whatever I'm enjoying, it is so much more blissful. You know what the old phrase, ignorance is bliss? It's a true phrase. If you're ignorant to what's going on over there, then you're blissful. You're ignorantly blissful. And that's what I'm going to be. So if any of the people who actually want to talk to me that I've met through all this, you know how to find me. And if you don't know how to find me, then I will be down in the comments. I'll let you know, you know, how to find me. It, I mean, in all likelihood, nobody's made it this far anyway. So, I don't know. But I'm definitely purging anything Kent Hovind related out of my life. Not necessarily people, 
but Kent Hovind related material is pretty much being purged from my life. I might leave some of the stuff up on this channel, and I might not. I have no idea, but at minimum, the only thing I will do is unlist some videos. And if anyone wants anything that might be unlisted, you know how to contact me. Just ask for whatever specific video you might need, and I'll get it to you. All right, so I don't know what else to say other than have a good day.